The Henry Ford bills itself as America's greatest history destination. It's a Disney World of sorts for history lovers, car lovers, and people interested in seeing up close some of America's most important artifacts. The museum, which is both a massive indoor and outdoor complex, is the largest of its kind in the United States. The outdoor portion is known as Greenfield Village, an 80-acre time capsule including the bicycle shop owned by the Wright Brothers and Thomas Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory. And you can see many of the 83 historic buildings here as you ride around the property in a Model T Ford. Inside the Henry Ford, you'll find a wide variety of displays. If there ever was a place that can claim there's something for everybody, it's here. Perhaps you're into classic cars and seeing firsthand the progression of Ford vehicles through the years. You like trains? We've got them. Planes? They've got them. Antique furniture? Yep. What about the Wienermobile? I bet they don't have the Wienermobile. Among the special pieces of American history here at the Henry Ford is this Montgomery City bus refurbished now to its original condition that became famous in 1955 after Rosa Parks sat in this seat and refused to move for a white person. The museum itself is absolutely massive, including all sorts of one-of-a-kind items and pieces from history. Right behind me, this is the chair where President Lincoln was assassinated. Another morbid, though incredible piece at the Henry Ford is the limousine that JFK was in the day he was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. Though Henry Ford would never approve, this museum may as well be named the Time Machine. More than 200 years of American exceptionalism, hurt, and growth all somehow neatly tucked under one roof. And while Ford never intended for people to live in the past, he rightly argued our country's future depends on, at the very least, remembering it. Thank you.